Hi everyone, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to finish our radial paper relief sculptures. What you'll be needing today is your paper from last time where we started creating our design with our relief folds. You're going to need your radial paper relief folds paper just to help you remember all of the different origami folds we did last time. And we're going to need some extra different colors so we can complete our sculpture. So today we're going to finish our sculptures. So we need to create a design that shows radial symmetry. So again, it is going to be symmetrical going all the way around our paper. We already started in this top corner. Now we are going to repeat the same design in each of the three boxes that we have left. So as we are doing this, this design is going to turn as if it is turning around the radius of a circle. So to get started, I am just going to fold all the different shapes that I have from my original square with the same colors, so then I can move on to my next box. The way that we're going to do this is this triangle is going to be a reflection of that top triangle. So I'm going to have these same three hat folds in this corner. I'm going to have this kite fold and the samurai folds in this bottom corner, and these designs are gonna be up in this top corner. So we're gonna have this exact same thing happening right over here. So it is fully symmetrical if we were to fold it in half. So I'm going to start by just folding all of my little pieces here. Now I do have that video posted if you need help remembering how to do all of our different folds, or you can just follow along with our radial paper relief folds paper. Today we're going to try and see how much of this we can get done. You might be able to finish the entire thing. It does go a lot quicker once you have your design that you're just copying and once you get used to making all of the different folds. And since we made them all last time, it's a lot easier to remake those same folds this time. So we'll try and see if we can get our entire project done today. So I replicated this first section that I have in this one triangle. So I can place that right there and it's going to again line up on that folded edge of my black paper. So now it is fully symmetrical with the same set of hat folds that I have on the left. Now I'm also going to need the center piece. So I did start with this blue samurai fold. So I'm going to get one of those in this corner. So then I can stack my kite fold that was purple and my hat fold and that samurai fold in there as well. So you really just want to look at your design. It's easiest if you break it down, maybe by looking at the corners of each section and seeing where your pieces of origami are and how you can line them up in your next box so it is fully symmetrical. So it is the same on both sides. Okay, so now that I have that samurai fold, it is going to go in that same bottom corner of this box. So they are touching and they are lined up. Then I can stick my kite fold, this purple design I have in there, in this section so it is lined up against that diagonal and then fill it with another samurai and hat fold. So again you're just looking at your original design and replicating that in each of your boxes that you have left to show radial symmetry. So that is going to get tucked in there and I can line them up together and with my diagonal so I know they're in the same spot. Oh we're also going to need a glue stick. I forgot about that. There we go. So I am just going to finish the rest of my folds for this box and then we will lay them out. Right, now I have everything folded for my next box and you can see I matched all of my designs with what I already had on the opposite side. So if I were to fold my paper in half this way it would be fully symmetrical because everything on both sides is matching. I have the same folds, I have the same colors, and then if I were to fold this box in half on a diagonal it would still be symmetrical because I have the same items again on both sides just like I had in my original box that I started with. So I'm going to use my glue stick and just glue down all of my pieces here and then I'm going to begin folding for the bottom half. Now the bottom half we're going to be doing that exact same thing. So I'm going to look in this box and I am going to see what folds I had in my original and where they are going to be placed. So again I'm going to have this blue samurai fold right here in this corner with the kite folds coming out and the hat folds and the, and the green samurai folds. I'll have this down in this corner and our 
cluster of samurai folds in the bottom corner and another set of hat folds in that top corner. So again, our original design is going to be rotating around our paper to create radial symmetry. So I'm just going to glue this down and then begin folding the rest of my papers and gluing them in my last two sections, repeating that same design in each box. And that is our radial symmetry paper relief sculpture all finished. So once you're done, you should have almost like a kaleidoscope effect where your design is showing symmetry all the way around your paper. So no matter what way I fold my paper in half, no matter where I put that line of symmetry, it is symmetrical on both sides. So if I fold it half this way, it is symmetrical on both sides. Even if I did it diagonally from the corners, any which way I fold it, it is going to be symmetrical. Once you're done with your project, you can upload a photo or video of it on my Canvas page. I can't wait to see the amazing and colorful designs you guys have come up with. Try your best, have fun, and get creative, and I'll see you soon. Bye!